Because we say anything, we say that no one like you. You are the one who opens doors that no man can shut. You are the one who makes people go to areas that they have never even thought about. This afternoon, this evening, we exalt your name. Thank you for a time and a moment like you, O oh God. Because you have made this to happen. We give you all thanks from our heart. Through Christ our Lord, we give thanks. Buana asifiwe. I almost, I almost felt like we are in, in morning prayers. And it's beautiful because I love prayers. And I love when we are in the presence of the Lord. But let me tell you something. This is by the grace of God. This is by the grace of God. When I was joining the university, I called Mchungaji because I got a phone call that they were offering the degree that I was looking for. So um, when I called him, I told him... Um, that is this opportunity that has come and um, release your blessing over my life. Because let me tell you something. Most of us, we know he's our spiritual father. But most of us despise the anointing in his life. And you can never be blessed by an altar that you despise. It can never happen. You cannot get a blessing if you despise that authority. So he in fact, he said very few words. Go for it, go for it and receive it in Jesus' name. So I went, I, I did the admissions. And then they told me, young man, you are in for a whole year of studies. That was 2020. When colonization was very high. So we started online. And then it went like that. It has been a journey up and down. And there is something happened when I was almost winding up. I was in my last semester. And you guys know I had an accident with my dear mama who went to be with the Lord. And when the lecturers learned that that had happened, they called me in the office. They told me, do you think you'll be able to do the last semester? Or we defy you to next year? I told them no. My agenda was to finish the university at the year 2023. This one is not going to 2024. And we continued. And uh, it was good. So in life there are challenges here and there. But as Patron have said, if you put your faith in what you believe is for you, trust me no, it is going to happen. You just need to believe. One has a favor. So when we were clearing with the finances because there were balances, I want to give you a miracle that God did to me. They called me from the office. As Muni have said, I have been the student leader in our university. I have been the speaker of the Congress. Hey, you ni mzuri sana. Nilikuwa na wambia, as many of the opinions say, aye. And then what one asema, aye. So, they saw that my name had not been cleared from the finance. And I am the, the bazoo. So, they called from the office. <laughs> they told me, young man, we have a problem here. 
because you have a balance of Kenyan shillings 80,000. You need to clear that money before tomorrow. If you don't clear that money, we are going to remove your name from the Senate and you are not going to graduate. So I told them uh, there is no problem because tomorrow morning, the person who said is going to clear that money will come and clear. They said tomorrow morning. I said, yes, tomorrow morning. And I, I hung up there. Okay, we will wait for you. So I got disturbed for a moment, but I made prayer before God. And then God reminded me of, of my friend. His name is Mark. We had a project in school with him. He's from the Netherlands. So he, he's, a, he's a Mzungu. <laughs> he's called Mark Broel. So I made a note, a voice note in WhatsApp. And I told him the situation that I was in. And then he took time to respond. But when he responded after like 30 minutes, he told me, Johnny, uh, give me your full name and how that will appear in M-Pesa. I forwarded. And then in five minutes, I had money in my phone. The next morning I went, I cleared. And that's how I went through. I mean, <laughs> there is something that I have learned. And I have learned to fully trust in the Lord. I don't trust in the Lord 20%. I trust in the Lord 100%. I don't have plan B when it comes to, to trust in the Lord. I trust in the Lord fully and wholly. And this is the same thing I would want to tell you people. Please trust in the Lord for whatever you have believed in your heart and he will do it. So when they were reading my, my name, um, Chungaji was there and uh, my brother Baba Abi, um, it was very nice. We graduated 3,000 students, 174. Uh, if you can catch up in your TV, it was in Capuchin TV. That is our school media. And it was very, very nice. But I have to say this. This has been God and him alone has done this. One as a favorite. So I would want you to really go with me, even as I read this speech, even as we wind up, because this is nothing other than the goodness, goodness of the Lord. And I want to, I have given it a title of see what the Lord has done. And as what Mchungaji have said, because he's my friend, so I gave him a leakage of what is happening. They called me the other day. They told me, young man, we are very happy for you. We are giving you a chance to do masters. So as patron is saying that we need masters here, me, I'm saying we have it. So they even wanted me to enroll he last month. They were like, hey, Goja. <laughs> they were like, you come and start in September. I, told, I said, no, let me start it in January. So by the grace of God, two years down the line, in the year 2025, by the grace of God, we shall celebrate the goodness of God because we shall have masters here. We believe in the Lord. All right. And there is something Tungaji said, that when you see a door has been opened, I feel in the atmosphere the room for books and education is so much available. It is you to tap and believe in the Lord for that. And it's going to happen. Because the Lord opens doors that no man can shut. So this one, I've, I've, I've written it. Um, See what the Lord has done. And I want to start by saying that success is nothing if you don't have the right people to share it with. That's why we are all here sharing this. Because you can, and you are just going to end up lonely. And it is with great happiness, with great joy, fulfillment and love that I stand here today to celebrate the goodness of God in my life. It has been a journey of transformation and assimilation of knowledge in the time that I have been learning. It has not been easy. It has taken dedication. It has taken discipline. It has taken hard work, faith and hope and above all, God's intervention. I have to say that this is a dream come to reality because as I was growing up around the age of six years, one time I came across a photo of my uncle Kamau with a graduation gown. And by the looks, he looked dope. He was the only person then who had a degree in our family and that inspired me big time. I knew that I and I alone are the only person who can live the life that writes the story that I was meant to tell. And that one day, one day, 
I will graduate even without knowing with what because with God everything is possible. In response to those who say that you stop dreaming and face reality, I say keep dreaming and make reality. I would like to flash back my journey during the school life that indeed nothing comes on a silver platter. In as much as God has his way that he has planned for us, we have a duty and a responsibility to do our part. I saw the value of what I was studying and therefore I had to stay committed to it. I had to sacrifice time for leisure and other things and I dedicated it to books. I had to have a balance with school and work life which was not easy but it was doable. As Ruth Westminster said that my favorite animal is a turtle and the reason is that in order for a turtle to move it has to stick its, its neck out. And there are going to be times in your life and in our lives when you are going to have to stick your neck out. There will be challenges. And instead of hiding in a shell, you have to go out and meet those challenges. In December 23rd, 2022, was one of my darkest moments in history of my life. This was the moment when our dear mom went to be with the Lord in the road accident and I was in that car and therefore I am standing here today as a living testimony and a survivor of that accident. There are moments when life happens and it turns so ugly and the hostility of the unprecedented circumstances and the negative turn of events occurs. But in such moments, draw the inspiration that those moments you learn to be stronger than before because frustration, although quite painful at times, it is very positive and essential part of success. You learn that being strong is the only option that you have left. I did not give up in life. I looked unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of my faith, because in him I live, I move, and I have my whole being. I would like to echo the words of my hero, my role model, my friend, and a mother. She used to tell me that it doesn't matter your background or where you have come from because God knows every home and God knows every person. She used to tell me that my path is very bright and the future is very promising. And mama, indeed, I want to tell you that your words have become true today. How I wish you are here to see that what you prayed for has come to pass. Your inspiration, your support and prayers have been fulfilled. And I am becoming a gentleman that you wished, that you inspired and prayed that I would become. For those who are on a journey, striving to achieve something, never give up in life no matter what happens. Please Keep on believing, keep on trusting, and keep on moving forward. Because real courage is holding on to a still voice in your head that says, I must keep going on. It is that voice that says nothing is failure if it is not final. The voice that says to you, get out of bed, keep going, and you will not quit. As I graduate with Bachelors of Art in Leadership and Management in Public Administration, I would like to echo the words of Sonia Sotomoya that you cannot dream about becoming something that you don't know about. You have to learn to dream big. Education exposes you to what the world has to offer, to the possibilities that are open to you. There is a path that God has aligned you to and there is a destination that he has set for you simply because he loves you. Listen to your inner voice and shut the noises from outside because you are the only one who knows what is in for you. In conclusion, I have learned to take my risk now. As I grow older, I become more courageous and less fearful. I try to keep my mind open to possibility and my mouth shut on matters that I don't know about. Continue to share your heart with people, even if it is being broken. The horizon always leans forward. 
offering me a space and a place to step out of change and therefore I know I am yet to see the best of my days. There is nothing more beautiful than finding your course as you believe you aimlessly in the current. Wouldn't you know that your path was there all along waiting for you to knock, waiting for you to become. And this path does not belong to your parents or your teachers or your leaders or to your lovers. This path is only you are yours alone. Your path is your character, defining itself more and more every day, like a photograph coming into focus, because every day is a new opportunity to change our lives and to be who we want to be. I am better prepared to receive all that is written in my name. To God be all the glory. <laughs> So that speech, I wrote it sometime. I didn't have a sleep over the night, even as I was contemplating about the goodness of God. Nangoja niwambia wapendwa, wenye mko hapa, there is God in heaven. Tell your neighbor there is God in heaven. And this God in heaven loves you. Jeremiah 29, 11 is one of my best inspiration scripture that says, for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans not to harm you but plans to give you a future and a hope so may we always embrace the love of Christ may we always embrace the goodness of God and may we always dream big I saw a graduation of the youngest son of Baba Purity I saw in the status of the wife and also Purity and also Glenn and that young man was like this but he had a gown. Then I saw the beauty of the goodness of God. And I made a prophecy in my heart that that young man one day he will wear a degree because there is a God in heaven. May we dream big. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord give you the desires of your heart even as you approach become big and big and big. God bless you all. <laughs>